Okay, everyone, thank you so much for tuning back to Urban Tropical. I really, really hope that this winter you haven't lost many of your beautiful, loving plants. I have lost quite a few. I mean, I don't know why I have a smile on my face. Now, maybe I have just passed that point that I don't care anymore. But I'm just going to shoot a quick video what has survived and what hasn't. And I do have a different plans now. That doesn't mean I won't buy the plants I love, even though they are such a high maintenance and they, they might die. But I just need a bit of time before I can spend all that money again. But again, this is a quick video on this update, what is doing well and what hasn't done so well. So let's just get to it. Okay, so the first plant I have on the list is this is Cordyline Charlie Boy. This was supposed to be hardy, some says to minus 8 degrees, some says to minus 5 degrees. I did give it a little protection, but it still has died. I mean, the key thing is this stem is getting really soft. I have cut from here all the way to there, and this one has just now recovering, so it might die. I might cut it here again. In case it stops the rot but I'm not really sure if it will so Charlie line no so Cody line Charlie boy is not so hardy and that doesn't mean that I will never grow it again I just think we end up experience experiencing such a harsh winter the things which I think have done really well are kanas. Kanas I did not protect, I did not mulch, I just left them as it is and I have just dug up just to see how solid the bulbs are or rhizomes and they are still really solid and I am assuming that within a few weeks more shoots will come up and this plant will do great and uh, so they are pretty solid i did also dug up kana cleopatra and i can just show you image here it's already got two growing shoots which was growing on the other side of my garden so cannas end up being a lot more solid and which are not supposed to be that hardy if unprotected in harsh winter but done brilliantly next one i have on the list this is a mix of i think washingtonia and filibusta so it is called a filibuster i think this one was unprotected i have moved it to a new location it was right south facing side of my garden but i'm trying to lay out a new border here so you can see all the mess i'm making right now here so <laughs> this one i have just moved yesterday it was a, a very hard working job to dig this one up it has got really huge approximately two foot down rooting system and uh, people say palms don't have a thick big rooting system trust me it's not true at all it was a really nightmare to dig this one up but i really hope that i have found a good area for this i really couldn't decide where to plant so i just end up planting it next to tetra Panax and my musa basju let's talk about musa basju this one again it was fully unprotected i had really tall stem to be honest i went away in peak winter as well and musa has always been least of my priorities and this stem was approximately six foot tall so I have just cut it right at the top it still looks like it's alive but only time will tell so maybe a few more weeks I will know if my Musa has survived I know it's root hardy so roots are going to be absolutely fine I'll just lose the height and um, to be honest I rather have a live plant than I worry about the height there's nothing I can do right now so all good I just wanted to also show you that how hardy small tetra panax are so these ones were fully unprotected not an ounce of protection and they did not lose leaf and they did not die so this is the spot where i dug up my um, filibuster or robusta or filifera or the combination right from here and i did have another plant here which is not supposed to be really hardy and the name of the plant was uh, musa sikimensis red tiger and i can see i have lost the stem or whatever you want to call that and the root is really solid and i think is producing a new pot here it could be another bulb right underneath which i am not sure but it looks like it's right next to the joint and i'm yeah it is because when i move this it moves too so it's root hardy it was protected and i took the protection off somewhere in mid gen after that it has stayed unprotected the plant i am really gutted has gone is the king palm and I have just cut the top 
it looks like it's dead but I'm not going to dig it up it might take a bit time to die completely or it might bounce back even though I have a really tiny hope and next to it was a really tiny Musa Sikimensis red tiger and right now oh there it is no that's a grass it's around here somewhere I do not feel the rooting for it maybe I have just lost the location but I know it's somewhere there or it was way too small to survive and have just died and this is one of the hardiest palms to get in terms of feathered palms and the name is Phoenix Canadiensis I mean I just call it a date palm to be honest this one did not do well this is the crown and all the leaves were just pulled up that means it's kind of rotting in there i have no idea if it has survived the winter or it hasn't no clue so i'm just only time will tell so i'm now moving it around i'm just leaving it here it looks fine here but it's all rotten up there but again it could be just the time is taking from damage to get from here to there but again this was one of the cheapest plants i'm okay even if it dies it was eight pounds i got it from bnq this was a shock to my system this one is lemon i think no this one is orange tree and no protection it survived i don't even remember to be honest buying something hardy in terms of orange and it has done really well this is no other than red banana in sate morolai and it was in my shed we went freezing temperatures the whole thing was just frozen and there was no way for me leaving it in the shed because it was defrosting and leaking to be honest I have really low hopes for this one to bounce back but I have just left it out and let's see if something comes back from here to be honest zero hopes I do not think it's going to do well but you just never know and the other one I tested this winter was bird of paradise so this one was quite protected i had it under sheltered position so it did really good actually when i checked it at minus five degrees but again i think the damage it takes time for damage to show you the visible effects and which i can clearly see now so all the leaves are gone i have lifted it up last week and the roots are pretty solid and it's still green here so my plan is to chop it up here it might bounce back so if it does I would just say it's a remarkable house plant which has a survived without greenhouse but still I will have to wait a few weeks or maybe a month for me to really conclude if it's alive or it's dead so I mean it's all alive here it's really solid here I have just lost all this I mean I don't know it's growing mechanism if I will cut it it will just Put a new shoot up or it's just a slow death and then I had really small uh, Dixonia which have I think have completely died because it's really soft in here I did not protect this one because for me Dixonias were quite hardy and it was a sheltered but I have lost it um, I'm just lucky that this one was tiny one this one is my big one and you can see the damage to all the leaves they have pretty much browned I have just protected the crown with uh, stuffing all this which I have removed now I can feel really strong knuckles looking fronds which are about to pop up so really happy about that I mean this winter did teach me to not buy plants which are not so hardy but sometimes you end up hearing your heart rather than your brain. I am still after the plants which I think looks amazing and need a lot more work. I might buy them again. I don't know. This time I'm just planning to have really cheap plants. I'm going to fill all this with the cheap plants because I'm not really sure which plants I want to have as a permanent structures. So these are all permanents which are going to stay at the back of the fence. These ones will be all grown from bulbs so that I can lift them, store them and I don't have to worry about it and they are cheap as well. So it will be a lot of filling this border with the cheap plants which are Looks really exotic and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching and I'm really excited that season has kicked in and I have already started on so many plants so really excited thank you so much for tuning in bye bye